So the only concern I have with this furnace is uh, these bolts, one, two, three. The screws are actually in there. You can actually see that, but the head's popped off. It's sheared off the heads. We're missing one down here by the burner as well. I'll, I'll get a screw probably and just replace that. But uh, these three have come off. If you take a look at this. That's that's level. So the case, the cabinet held level. But this thing is no longer reflecting that half inch there, you know, about four feet wide. Four feet wide. So you're uh you got a half inch pitch because we're touching the line. So we've dropped this side. And we're resting on the top of the burner cavity here because it's kind of bowed in. That's all nice and flat. That's sort of bowed in. If you get up on this landing, you see. Now I got safeties here. We got a rollout switch. That's in a strange spot, but nonetheless, that's what it is. And then I got a, a plenum switch inside there. You can actually see the fiberglass wire covers and the thing just floating in there. I got an inducer draft motor, vacuum switch, 1.15 inches of water column. I've got a couple safeties to relieve me of any anxiety, but uh, I don't like the fact that this isn't perfect. And I don't know when it became unperfect, but there's oxidation. So it's been a while where these screw heads used to, these sheet metal screw heads used to rest. So it's been operating for a while. 